Uh, here we are to continue talking about um, JavaScript and working with the Titanic data set. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about problem number 18. And this one right here asks you to get all of the fields, but also it wants um, the fields uh, where, it, where a given field is not undefined. So if a field is undefined, it means that it's missing from the value. So we just want to get just the values where they have, or just the objects that have that value, right? So let's give that a try, right? I'm going to try that in the, um, the playground again, so we can kind of test it here. Maybe I'll actually comment out some of these um, previous answers here to um, make it a little bit easier to read the results. There we go, right? So we'll, we'll do that, and then it should just show some minimum, right? Okay. So how do we um, filter out uh, objects where a property is missing, right? So if you have an object and you say, you know, dot property name, it will be undefined if that property doesn't exist, okay? So for example, like if I had you know, an object, like I said, const object equals, you know, some object like this, and it has a property of A and a property of B. Oops, uh, there we go. And then I said object dot C, this would be undefined, right? Okay, so what we'll do, is we'll do a quick test here. So let's say um, we saw in the last example that some of the embarked properties are, are missing, right? So let's say I wanted all of the embarked values, but not the ones that are undefined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, const embarked equals data dot map and I'm just going to convert all of my passengers into just an array of embarked, okay? So here, this embarked array is just going to be an array of the values for embarked. So actually, this is the, the first step we did up here. It's the same, right? So if I say embark here, I should have an array that's just SC or um, Q. And actually, you can see there's an undefined one in the middle here because a couple people don't have a, you know, we don't know where they embarked, right? So that's a good start. But now what I want to do is I want to find these guys and, and get rid of them. So our choice here is, is filter, right? So you can give that a try if you want, but I'll, I'll give it a try here. You can stop the video and try it on your own. Um, but I'll continue and give you give you the answer, um, so you can you can take a look at this when you're done, right? So I'm going to create a new variable, uh, embarked filter, and then what I'll do is I'll take the embarked and I'll say let's filter, and what I want to do is I only want to return passengers that are um, not on where they're embarked or where the value is un, not undefined, right? So what I'm gonna say is not, sorry, I didn't explain that well. What I want is I want the values here that are any value that's not an undefined, right? So instead of trying to check for, you know, strings and other things, I'm just gonna say is not um, undefined. So I'm gonna say um, P, Actually, I keep writing that wrong. I'm going to do P is not undefined. There we go, right? So I'm going to say P does not equal undefined. And if I console log this, then um, we should see the same list here, but none of them will be undefined, right? And um, we can check it too. So the original set of passengers is 891, 
So if I was to get the length here, it should be something less than 891. So yeah, it looks like two passengers are, are undefined, like we don't know where they embarked from. Okay, so you could use this idea in a lot of places. So if you were checking the um, the fares, and I think a couple passengers have an undefined for their fare, so you could filter those out. Here's another tip here. Um, using map and filter, we could actually combine these together. Since this returns, um, returns an array, we can actually just call filter on the end of this function here. So for example, like if I wanted to get rid of this second variable here, I can say, you know, data.map, and then after the end of parentheses for map, I can say dot filter, right? And so, you know, this function returns an array, and we're basically just calling filter on the array that was returned. And then the re array returned from filter is what's going to end up here. So, um, so this should give us the same answer now. And you can um, put a line break after the dot. That's a common syntax for JavaScript. So this would say data. We're going to call map on data. And then we're going to call filter on the value returned from map. And so this should give us the same answer here. OK? So anyway, so hopefully that helps you solve the next problem here. OK? Thanks for watching.